Hey everybody and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today this video is going to be a little different as you can see from the title. I am going to be filming another unboxing for everyone. Um, if you don't want to watch this, please don't think you should hurt my feelings by not watching it. I'd rather you just not watch it. Um, but for those of you that do love luxury items and life scene unboxings, then please stick around. So this bag that I got um, so I got my Speedy, the first bag I ever got was my pre-loved Noe, then I got my Speedy for my birthday last year, and then my boyfriend bought me another Louis Vuitton, and <laughs> he's literally the best, I'm just like blown away by this, but yeah, so he got me another Louis Vuitton, and this is another one that I have been wanting in my collection for some time now, so I'm really, really, really excited to be doing this unboxing, just jump right on into it. So here is the bag that I got from the store from Louis Vuitton. Um, my experience was yet another great experience. I tried to email um, my previous essay to see if she was going to be in when I was going to go get the bag, but she was not. But when I walked in, I was greeted immediately. Um, customer service was great. She pulled out so many bags to show me because I was indecisive on a few different styles. So she definitely took her time with me. I never felt like it was a rushed experience or anything. When I tell you Easton probably has the best Louis Vuitton sales associates that I've come across, I'm not lying. Like they're literally amazing. Here is the receipt that comes with it. And um, my new essay, her name was Meg. She left her card because she does hot stamping and I was talking about how I was not too sure if I wanted to do it on my Speedy, but I was really considering doing it on my um, Caruse wallet that I got. So um, she gave me her card and her contact info and was like, yeah, just text me when you're shopping and I'll do it for you. So awesome. And here is the box. I know you guys are probably like, that's a really small box and you're probably wondering what the heck I got. But um, yeah, I'm super excited to open it. I have not opened this since I've gotten it and I've probably had this for a week. It's been really rainy, so I wasn't going to wear it anyway, um, but yeah, so I'm opening it for the first time at home with you guys. Ooh, this time I got tissue paper. The first time I didn't get any tissue paper, but I have the tissue paper with the LV sticker to keep it closed. That's kind of exciting. I wasn't even expecting that. Ooh, and I just ripped it. Oh well, I guess that's what it's made for, right? And then here's the dust bag. I'm just going to pull that out. Okay, so guys, I'm so excited to reveal with you all what I got. It is the Louis Vuitton Favorite Size MM in um, the monogram print. You guys know I'm a huge fan of monogram. And in my last video, I do take back the Damier Bean comment that I made. Um, the sales associate, she kind of like schooled me on it, not really, but she explained to me that it was the original pattern and this was after the Damier print, um, which I did not know. And I actually am considering getting a Damier, a bean bag in the future after I get all the monograms I want, of course, but um, I'm really looking into one in the future and you guys just will have to see if I ever do an unboxing one of days, but yeah, so of course I got my favorite monogram. <laughs> And I just really think this bag is super cute. You have your metal plating right here, which is a magnet that opens. And it's this beautiful plum lining. You have this chain that you can use as like a wristlet or you can attach it to the other side of the bag. There's another hook over here. Oh, and then you have your, your strap. But you can attach that there and have like a little like shoulder bag or clutch which I thought was really cute this is a really versatile a really versatile bag and then you have your long strap which has a little clasp on it and you can attach that to the other side and then you have you have a crossbody bag or a shoulder bag this is where it hits me it's like right at my hip which I thought was the perfect length I'm 5'7", so a little on the taller side, crossbody, like basically the same place. 
Um, and yeah, I just really wanted a smaller bag that I could take shopping with me. Um, I just wanted a smaller purse. And inside you have the textile card, which is right here. And you also have a small pocket, which is, I don't know if you guys can see, but it's against the back right here. And your date code can be found inside on the left hand side, but you guys probably won't be able to see it. It's a small tab right here. And then I have another tab on the side. My bag was made in the US. Um, I have yet to come across the made in France bag. <laughs> And I know some people were saying like if you order online, you probably will get one more than if you go into the store, but I'm not really that pressed on it. Um, but yeah, this is this is my new baby. I just love this gold chain. It really decorates the bag nicely. It just kind of, you can, if you're not using it, it can kind of hang like this. I love the back. You have the two rivets from the pockets right here that say Louis Vuitton on them. It's really small, but it says it. And then you have the gorgeous plating on the sides that also completely adore. I think this bag is gorgeous and I'm super excited to have it in my collection. The only thing that I will say is the price that this bag is is a little ridiculous to me and I think it's just because of the strap is what makes it so much. But this bag was literally the same price as my Speedy and it's a lot smaller than my Speedy obviously as you can see. So I don't know. I guess with these luxury goods you just have to you get what you pay for and it'll hold up I'm sure for a really long time but yeah, this is my new bag. I'm super excited. I can't wait to put her to use. The magnet kind of made me nervous, but I don't plan on stuffing the bag. Like, usually I only keep a few essentials with me, so I don't think it'll be too much of a problem. Um, but we shall see. I would also like to mention that I am planning on selling my No Way. I'm planning on selling it because I do want another bag and, um... I just feel like the two are really similar so I wouldn't want both of, well I would want both of them in my collection but right now it just kind of seems silly to have both of them in my collection so I'm planning on selling the Noe um, to have money for or to earn money towards my new bag which I think is like a practical a practical thing to do especially since I don't want to have too many of the same thing in my collection excuse me in my collection but I'm planning on selling this. It is up currently on my Poshmark and it's also up on my Mercury account. Um, guys, you can check me out if you're interested in purchasing this bag. It is, my name is Kara, K-A-R-A-C-C. -C. You can search me on both Mercury and Poshmark under the same name and you can check out this listing. Um, but yeah, if you guys want more information, check out the video on this one. I will leave that below so you guys can see the bag more and, um, yeah, just know that I am planning on selling. So if you are interested in it, definitely go check out my two sites. So yeah, if you guys like the video, just give it a thumbs up. If you have questions, make sure you leave all those below and I will get to them as quickly as I can. And until next time, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.